Hi, good morning. Hope you're all keeping well. And as you will all know, well, the, the weather has been very changeable of late, so it's uh, restricted some of the things we can do. But I have been to several of the local reserves to me um, to get some shots. But I will be speaking about um, what my setup is, changing from the Panasonic G9 to the Olympus OM-1 but keeping my uh, Leica 100 to 400 lens and I just thought I'd mention um, some of the show you some of the settings and how I'm getting on it's almost three months now that I've had the camera um, and what my thoughts and the results are so we we'll get into this now and uh, I'll show you uh, what I've been doing. Here we have a blue tip and these images were taken on manual setting of the camera which I will now show you how that was set up but you can see it kept the image in the frame it tracked the image. Okay so here we are looking at the back of the camera um, and you can see all the settings. Now I generally leave the camera in manual mode and if you look on the left hand side, bottom left hand side, you have M for the manual mode. You then have the speed which is two thousandths of a second and the aperture of 5.1. Then over to the right we have an ISO of 640. Moving up, we've got normal picture setting, but we then go on to the little square box with the dots showing that we're actually on spot metering. Now spot metering generally gives a brighter image, um, and I will demonstrate that, but um, I, I like spot metering. Um, a lot of these things are you will find are down to your own personal um, idea of what you like and how you like the camera to perform. Okay, next going up, we got shutter speed, which is set at SH2. Now this is on silent shutter speed, fast shutter speed. It's set at the moment at 25 frames per second. But you can go set that up to the hundreds per second. But I find uh, set on 25 is quite sufficient for what I need. And then above that, you've got continuous AF plus tracking. Um, again, which I find is in most circumstances um, fine. Going across from there you can see the little bird icon showing bird detect and that's about it for in the manual setting and, and my everyday sort of um, the cameras in a lot of the time I will change the individual settings as and when I need them but I also have the presets with the uh, C1 through to C4 which I will now show you. These images were taken on manual mode and with the continuous AF and tracking. So as you can see they're quite an easy image for the camera to track. Um, size, shape and colour being quite constant through the frame. But it did quite a good job and I'm quite pleased with these images and I hope you are. We'll have a look at some more. So we'll go on to C1 first. 
Now the only difference here, say on the left hand side, where you see you have the M for the manual, you've got C1, so that's the preset. The shutter speed the same, aperture's the, sh the same, ISO 640, spot metering again, and going up again, burst mode, SH2. But the um, autofocus is just continue autofocus without the tracking. And that's the only difference on C1. Still in bird detect. So we'll then move on to C2. Right, the first thing you probably notice on C2, as I say shutter speed's the same, aperture's the same. ISO has gone down to 320, but you can see the image has dulled down. The uh, metering mode is center weight metering now. Also, the burst speed, shutter speed, um, the amount of frames per second, sorry, is on standard silent not the very high speed and I have that set at 10 frames per second. Up above we've got continuous AF plus tracking again which as I say I generally find works fine and we're still on bird detect. So that's C2. Let's move on to C3. Now C3 you will notice straight away that the shutter speeds come down to 1600 doesn't need to be for the on also we're on animal detect now so we've gone from bird to animal detect which is why the shutter speeds come down because we don't need to have it at that kind of speed and I can bring it down slower if necessary uh, aperture is 5.1 ISO 250 uh, metering is center weight again and we're set at 10 frames per second silent uh, firing and again it's on continuous AF plus tracking so that's number one of my settings we then go on to C4 now C4 you notice the image has suddenly got brighter that's because I'm on spot metering now instead of the center weight metering Shutter speed's gone up to 2000 again. Aperture's 5.1, ISO 640. And we're on standard uh, frame shooting, silent uh, frame. And we've also on single AF. And you notice there's no bird and no animal detect. So this is just the general shooting and again, well, if I need anything different, then I will make those uh, alterations as we go along. So that pretty much covers the settings that I have on the camera. But I'm pleased to say it's not too bad here in the hide. dry that's the main thing got one or two reasonable shots there's quite a few oversets here catch them feeding these images were taken at Cly marshes on the North Norfolk coast uh, it was quite a, a day there. And we saw the uh, lapwing as well. Now that's a very colourful little bird. Um, I'm so pleased to get uh, some nice stills and a little bit of video of the lapwing. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, clip, this little video of the lapwing. And as you can probably tell, I am very pleased with the OM1. 
on. Just wanted to give you some idea of uh, the settings I use and uh, what I do to get the images that I manage to capture. Um, there is a lot more to come. Um, I've got some uh, deer and uh, hares and um, all sorts. So keep looking for the next video which will be coming out and uh, you should see some uh, more interesting things on there I hope. But uh, this was mainly to give you an idea of the settings and what I use to acquire the images that I get now. So thanks for watching and hopefully see you all next time. Right, cheers for now. Bye. Thanks for watching and could you please give us a thumbs up that would be good and maybe subscribe as well. Most Much appreciated and hopefully we will see you next time. If you subscribe you will get notification of when the next video comes out. So many thanks for that and bye for now.